Hi, girls. Can you please wear your face mask? They're doing all the right things to stay COVID secure. But while shops, hair salons and beer gardens may have reopened, university students can't get back to face-to-face -face lectures. They could return within a month, but it will be three weeks before the academic year ends for most of them. As we've got students out there who might be working in bars or working in leisure centres, but they can't come on campus to study. And we know that they do want to come on just to finish off the year um, and really meet, meet their peers, colleagues, um, and get back into their education in the sort of more traditional way. You know, their first year at university or their graduation year. Those are years you can't get back. Great to see you all here again. Staffordshire University is doing better than most. Two-thirds of its 12,000 students have been allowed to return for practical reasons. You've got 999 on. Health and social services are among a host of courses here. They're able to use immersive technology, for instance. We will bring in a physical patient or mannequin patient into this environment. Elsewhere, though, a mock courtroom remains empty. Law students are at home. Many politicians fear a spike of infections, similar to what happened when universities opened last September. But several surveys dispel that fear, one of them from the Office for National Statistics, which directly reports to the UK government. They estimate up to three quarters of students have already returned to their accommodation. And there are some who have lived on campus throughout the pandemic. Chris Steers has only recently lifted himself out of depression. I'm not going to lie at the first. I really struggled um, being on my own um, for most of the summer, not being able to see my family. It, it, it's tough. Universities say too many students are suffering now because of government inaction. They say while schools have reopened, higher education is being stifled. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Stoke-on-Trent.